What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today if you are new here. Hi, hello. My name is Amanda and it's nice to meet you. Now for today's video, we are starting the year off right with our first skincare haul of 2023. And before I get into anything, I just want to say a massive, massive, massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented on my videos, followed me on my socials, the whole lot. I'm just so blessed and grateful for you guys and I just can't believe it's 2023. I feel like this is going to be a great year. We are going to enter it with a positive mindset and I just can't wait to see how it unfolds for me, for you guys, for this YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into this video. Now, if you've been following me for a little while, you would know that I've just spent the past month traveling in Tokyo, Japan and Oh my goodness, it was my first time there and it was just so beautiful and incredible to actually see in person. If you guys want to see some stuff that I got up to over there, I have actually posted some photos and videos not only on my channel but on my TikTok and Instagram as well. So I'll leave those down below in case you guys want to check it out. But for this video, we are doing a Muji skincare haul and as you guys can see, I've gotten a whole box of stuff. This is a brand that I discovered while I was over there and I honestly had to come and share it with you guys because it's a brand that's actually blown me away. Now before we get started on this Muji skincare review, I thought I would just do a quick overview of what Muji is and what it's about. So if you've never heard of Muji before, it essentially stands for no branded quality goods. And basically it's like a major household like retailer. So they sell basically everything from food, clothes, kitchenware, furniture, skincare, the whole lot. They even have restaurants and hotels, which is pretty wild. Um, I didn't even know this, but they're also global. So there's stores all around the world. You can get it online. And I did see that they are in Australia too. So I believe they're only in Sydney and Melbourne at this stage. With their skincare, they have four lines or series that I would say. And we're just going to get into them. So the first line is their sensitive clean line. So this is just their regular line. It is formulated for those that do have quite sensitive skin. So it's free from parabens, radicals, alcohol, and basically irritants that affect the skin. Next is their clear care range. So this is for those that have oily to combination skin, acne pro skin, basically those that are concerned like with pores and texture. Next is the aging skincare line, which is obviously the anti-aging line. So it has a number of ingredients like collagen and things like that. And then the last line that they have is their cleansing range. So they pretty much have you sorted, which is awesome. Now the packaging Guys, if you love that really clean and minimal aesthetic, you will love this. And as soon as I saw it, I was instantly drawn to it package wise, just because it's a packaging that you don't usually see. And I just love how each item is like presented. It's just so minimal. And that's definitely like my kind of style. Another thing that I love about this is that it caters to so many different people and skin types. And I love the fact that it comes in different sizes as well, which is perfect for like traveling or if you're on the go. Um, but yeah, let's just get into each item. The first item we have is the face soap scrub. And this is a mild foam guys, and it's formulated with peach scrub. It also has a keratin clearing ingredient in it as well. So um, basically it just like lifts surface oil and removes dirt from your pores. It also has like a uh, hamamelis extract. I think that's how you say it. Um, but it's a tightening ingredient, but it's not drying at all, which is pretty crazy. I really like how this feels it's fragrant free it's mineral oil free as well it just feels really soft on the skin um, but it is what it says so it's like a mild foam scrub it is quite gentle and it just like I said it makes the skin really soft and clean um, I do use this once a week just to lightly exfoliate my face but yeah I really like this product and um, yeah I just love the packaging of this as well it's just really minimal and aesthetic so yeah, I love this one. Next, I have the oil cleanser. Now, this is from their Sensitive Skin range. They do actually have another one that is mild as well, um, but I did just go for the regular one just because my skin can be a little bit sensitive, especially when it comes to trying new products. You can always tell when I like a oil cleanser, and this one does not disappoint. So this one has olive oil, 
sunflower seed oil and jojoba oil as well. So it is 100% natural and it just works incredibly, incredibly well. The main reason I use oil cleansers is because they are the best at removing makeup. I've tried so many different makeup removers, wipes, the whole lot and nothing beats a oil in my opinion um, and I was very surprised by this one as well and it wasn't heavy like that's another thing that surprised me like usually when you think of an oil you think it's gonna like leave your face greasy or heavy and things like that but this one does not do that at all it just has a very nice and light texture and it just does the job basically I really like this and you can use it wet or dry on your skin too so yeah I think this is Probably one of my favorite oil cleansers that I own now. Next items we have are these two babies. So this is a 50 ml travel size of the Face Soap and Mild Milk Cleanser. Now I did pick these two up for two different reasons. So the Face Soap is like a basic milky cleansing lotion and it doesn't have any crazy skincare benefits or anything like that. It is what it says. It's a face soap, but it is super gentle on the skin and it does have 100% like botanical ingredients in it as well. So it just leaves the skin just really fresh and clean. Then we have the mild milk cleanser. Now this is more of a emulsion, I would say. So if you guys don't know about emulsions in skincare, basically it's a milky moisturizer with a gel-like consistency. These are water-based as well. So you can think of them as a lighter version of your moisturizing creams. Um, it's just really hydrating on the skin. I really like how this one feels. Um, and I think paired with the face soap as well, it's just like a match made in heaven in my opinion. And yeah, I've really, really been loving these two products. Next item we have is apparently a cult favorite in Japan, and it's the Booster Essence Lotion. Now, the lady that I was speaking to in the store actually said that this sells out very, very quickly. So I'm happy that I snatched and got my hands on it to try for myself. And honestly, I genuinely really like it. This is a pre-toner that you put on before lotion so that the lotions that you put on top of it absorb into the skin easier. And I can say it does just that. So to use this, I just put it on a cotton pad. You can use your hands as well. I just personally use a cotton pad and I basically just wipe it over my face. Essentially, this is just a toner, in my opinion. Um, it does have hyaluronic acid and tsubaki seed as well, which is very good for the skin. Um, it has a watery texture as well. So yeah, I really like this one and it's just basic. It has no fragrance to it or anything like that either. So yeah, so far, I really like it. Next item we have is the light toning water in high moisture. Now, this one comes in a bunch of different levels, so you can get light moisture and high moisture. Uh, I really like the fact that you can choose what level you want depending on your skin type and what it needs. So in my case, I got the high moisture because as you guys know, I have very dry skin and I like all of my products to be as moisturizing as possible. Um, I did notice that the high moisture products all have hyaluronic acid in it, even though the other levels don't. So just kind of like a FYI. I really love this. It's one of my favorite products that I've picked up out of this whole range. Um, my skin feels really hydrated and plump every single time I've used it. It's just, looks like my skin's just drunk all of this water. It just, it's so fresh and clean. It's fragrant free, mineral oil free, paraben free, all of that jazz in it as well. And yeah, I just really like how my skin feels every single time I've used it. Now I will just pat this into my skin with my hands after I've used the Booster Essence Lotion. Um, and it just works really well together. And yeah, I really see results with this one. So yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite products that I've picked up. Next items we have are these two moisturizers. So I've got the moisturizing milk here and then the moisturizing cream. Now for the moisturizing milk, this is very similar to the toners, like with the level of moisture that you're getting. So I did pick up the high moisture version and on the touch of this guys, it is so hydrating and rich. But in saying that, it's not heavy at all. It's such an unusual consistency. It just leaves the skin so plump and supple. Now, I do use this mainly in the morning as like my main base moisturizer. Um, I will sometimes use it at nighttime if I feel like my skin needs a little bit more hydration. But this one is free from parabens, minerals, um, alcohol, all of that jazz. So 
and it does have any fragrance in it as well so I really really like this item now for the moisturizing cream guys I love 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 this product this is by far the most hydrating cream that I have put on my face I'm not even joking the way this feels it's like no other if you have dry skin this is going to save you especially for the winter time now this specific cream is meant to be like the last step in your skincare to pretty much seal everything that you've put on your face, like from the toners to the moisturizing milk, all of that jazz. Once everything's layered and then this goes on top, your skin feels like a baby's butt. I am not joking. This is just chef's kiss in a little box. Um, what I love about it is that this has hyaluronic acid, jojoba oil, olive oil. It also has lipid gel in it as well. So basically all the hydration that you need in a cream form. I absolutely love this. I feel like it's really hard to find products like this that are this moisturizing, uh, especially for those that have sensitive skin. So if you do have dry or sensitive skin, this is going to be your best friend. Last but not least, guys, we have two oils here. So I've got the jojoba oil and sweet almond oil. And honestly, oils in general are a essential product in my skincare routine. I know the thought of oils can sometimes be a little bit crazy and scary, but Honestly, for my skin type, my body drinks this up like no other. I really like the fact that Muji actually sell pure oils like this. So this is 100% jojoba oil and 100% sweet almond oil. So that's really, really cool. They had a whole range of oils to choose from, but I did pick up these two. With the jojoba oil, you don't just have to use this product on your face, which is nice. You can use it on your hair and on your body too. It has ingredients like vitamin C and E in it. It's got minerals, proteins, and antioxidants in there. And when I first used this, I honestly thought it was going to be so heavy on the skin, but I was very surprised. It actually has a super light texture while being nourishing at the same time. It's just all around incredible. And like all the other products that I've mentioned in this video, it is super moisturizing and it is fragrant free as well, which is nice. Now, the only bad thing I will say, just a little FYI, is that this product doesn't sell in Australia, unfortunately. So if you did want this specific item, like I did buy it in the actual Muji Japan store overseas. Um, but I'm sure if you got like pure, like 100% jojoba oil, you would still get the same effect. So yeah, just a little FYI. Lastly, guys, we have the sweet almond oil. And this is very, very, very similar to the jojoba oil. So it's very soft. It has a light texture to it as well. Again, it doesn't have any fragrance in it either. Um, I had, haven't really used sweet almond oil like too much before in my skincare. Uh, I was reading up a little bit about it and apparently sweet almond oil is really good for like reducing dark spots, um, hyper like pigmentation, scars and blemishes and whatnot. I was also reading, I don't know if this is true, but over time apparently like almond oil can actually lighten the skin. So I don't know how I feel about that. I might just use this mainly on my body just for hydration um, or just on areas that feel a little bit more dry than others. But yeah, I do prefer the jojoba oil a little bit more than this one, I will say. I've only used it once or twice and it was just kind of like mediocre in my opinion. It's just pretty generic and basic. Um, yeah, I'm glad that I just got a small travel size of it too. Okay guys, that is the end of today's Muji skincare video. I know this was a little bit of a longer one, so thank you so much for sticking it out with me. But overall, since I've been using these products, I genuinely really like them. I think they are very affordable. It's good quality. I love that all the items are just 100% natural and clean for the skin. I think if you are after a brand that's not going to break the bank and will meet your skincare concerns and needs. I think you'll really like this. I think also for those that are just starting out in skincare as well and just want basic products that are just going to maintain the skin, I think this is going to be really great for you. If you are after skincare that's going to make a dramatic difference to your skin, I don't think Muji will do that for you. It's just a brand 
that's going to just take the basic care of your skin. But so far, since I've been using Muji products, I've been reaching out for them a lot and I've adopted it into like my everyday skincare and I just love how my skin feels every single time I've used it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my skin is probably the best it's ever looked and I honestly think it's because of these products. It's just clean and natural and yeah, that's just what I love about it. So yeah, if you guys do check out any of these products, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any products that I should try from like the brand as well that I didn't review today. Um, but yeah, overall, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay healthy, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.